Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, I'm going to show you what we've been doing. Uh, we've been working with a couple really great artists. Uh, I've been working with them to create a profile for ZBrush, and this has been probably the hardest thing that I've tried to do to date. Um, before we do that, I'm going to show off a little trick that Takashi showed me. You can set this to open and close with the button. So uh, I'll have that in another video. All right, so this is the profile that I made. I have this set up so that this button up here toggles the different uh, layouts here inside of ZBrush. This closes and opens the menus. This is a blank button. I need to know what to do with that. Save, new file, open, blank, delete, uh, which delete doesn't seem to be used anywhere that I can find. Uh, subdivide, so let's go ahead and subdivide a little bit. And then we can change those back and back up. It's a timeline navigation, so you can undo and redo. This toggles to move, scale, rotate, and this turns the gizmo on and off. There's draw. If I want to toggle between these, I can choose Uh, these buttons down here. It's giving me some different actions, obviously. Okay. All right. Um, obviously, alt works here. Uh, zooming or rotating and zooming can done be done with this. Um, it's kind of a right click nav. Uh, zone. So for those who are familiar with that, it just allows you to do stuff over the top of the model, which I appreciate. Uh, there is a little bit of a um, rhythm to it. So you have to uh, tap the pen sometimes to get it to stick at the end. So if you have the pen down at the same time, sometimes it's a little bit jumpy. All right, anyway, um, shift control you can do these at the same time uh, obviously all three as well uh, in any order and all of that works well uh, these are going to bring up just whatever palettes you have set to them uh, I currently have it set to uh, the alphas and the strokes but you could have it set to uh, different brushes and then obviously down here I think I demonstrated this already um, we're just doing different types of brushes and again changing all this so um, what I need to know is what is it missing uh, what should go in these three spots and down here and if this looks useful or uh, what you guys would change all right thanks appreciate your help bye